the Oracle Add Months function. The Add Months function adds a specified number of months to a date. You input a date and a number of months, and the output of the function is another date. The syntax is add months with the first parameter of input date and the second parameter of number of months. The input date is the date to add the months to, and number months is the number of months to add. You can find more information about this function in the blog post linked in the description. Let's take a look at some examples. The first example selects the sysdate and then add months with the first parameter of sysdate and the second parameter of one. So this will add one month to sysdate. And the result is a date of 29th of December because sysdate is 29th of November. We've added one month to that date. The second example is where we add six months to sysdate. You can see the new date is May 2017. Now we want to add 41 months to sysdate. You can see the output is April 2020. This example here adds a negative number of minus 6 to sysdate. You can see it goes backwards to the 29th of May 2016. We can also try and add the number 5, which is inside quotes. You can see that this still works. It gives us a date in April 2017. But the number of months parameter in the function needs to be a number. If we type in the word 6 and run the function, the function won't work. You can also use add months with to date. I've specified to date as July 2015, and then add one month to that. You can see that the first date was July 2015, and we've added one month to make it August 2015. What happens if we add a decimal place? In this example, we're selecting the sys date. We add 2.3 months to sys date, and then 2.9 months to sys date. Let's see what happens. You can see that both of them have resulted in a date in January 2017. This is because it's rounded down in both cases and added two months to the date. Now let's add 12 months to sys date, and we get November 2017. This example here will find the first day of the month. First, we use the sysdate function. Then we get the last day of that date. We then add one to it to find the first day of the next month. We then add months to it, but then remove the month from it. If we then truncate that date. We can see the result here is the 1st of November 2016. So that's how you find the first day of the current month.